Hey guys, welcome back to Olan and Law. Uh, in this video lecture, I'm going to talk briefly about the acute, acute mesenteric mesenteric adenitis. Adenitis. Okay. So usually, uh, especially it is seen in the children. And um, how do they present? Is they present same like appendicitis? Usually, the child will be crying excessively around the age of around uh, what do you call five to five to some around twelve years something somewhere around. Then uh, they will be excessive crying. There will be history of vomiting. Uh, fever could be there. Vomiting, fever. Okay. And the very important thing is a right iliac cause of pain. That is uh, right iliac fossa pain on the right side, lie right lower side you can remember. Um, and on examination, if you examine, uh, it looks like an appendicitis. Well, uh, and there might they may, and you might feel some swollen mass on the right iliac fossa. Remember. So what you have to do at this time is uh, uh, hydrate the child well. Okay. And uh, basic uh, treatment, your symptomatic treatment, you have to do hydration is really very important. Uh, hydrate the child and another important thing is do the ultrasound abdomen okay ultrasound abdomen and the pelvis is really very important because you have to rule out the causes other causes of abdominal pain appendicitis or is it a, a mesentic adenitis well when you do it what you have to see is look at the size of uh, um, lymph nodes you have to look at the size of the lymph node because depending on the size of the lymph nodes you have to manage. If it's less than 10 mm, less than 10 mm uh, in a short axis, okay, and it's seen in the small clusters, then you can give a course of anti antibiotics and uh, ask them for the follow-up with a painkiller. Well, if it's more than 10 mm, the size is more than 10 mm, then you have to rule out very important disease that is a tuberculosis. So if you are seeing other features of a tuberculosis in a child, then better uh, better you should evaluate for the tuberculosis. Okay. If still if 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 on uh, ultrasound if you see calcified, if you see calcified, then better get it get a TB scan scan for TB right. You have to evaluate. If there is a pseudo mesentic cyst also, then you need to look for the causes of TB whether the TB is the cause for that pseudo mesentic system remember huh? so uh, these are the important things that you should know if the if the child simply child healthy child well growing child has come with excessive cry and ultrasound has shown 10 mm of or a less than 10 mm size of lymph nodes on uh, the short axis then uh, you can give a course of antibiotics on the painkiller and ask them for the follow-up if it's more than 10 mm or any signs of tuberculosis or there is a calcified lesion on ultrasound uh, better uh, evaluate for the TB and you have to start with the TB. TB is nothing but uh, tuberculosis. Okay, so you have to treat accordingly. Thank you so much to subscribe to our channel and please share our videos. Thank you.